We're at lesson 3.4c. We're multiplying more than two rational numbers. If we need to multiply three or more rational numbers, we can use a pattern to find the sign of the product. We find the product of the first two rational numbers, then multiply that result by the third number. Here we have a negative one-fourth being multiplied to a negative one-half. We multiply straight across. We have a one over an eight. We have two negative. That means this is going to be a positive. We have like signs. It's going to be positive. Now we multiply one-eighth times the negative two-fifths. We have one times two is two. Eight times five is 40. We have a negative two fortieths because we have unlike signs. It's a negative. And we can simplify this. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by two and get negative one twentieth. There's an odd amount of negative factors here so the product is negative. When we multiply several negative factors, the sign of the product will flip from positive to negative with each additional negative factor. Here we have four negative factors, and these have the same sign. So when we multiply them, our partial product is 1 eighth. Now we need to multiply it to a negative 2 fifths. We have a positive and a negative. So that's going to have a negative product. Now we have a negative times a negative. They have the same sign. We're going to have a positive product. So we can see it went from positive to negative to positive. If we multiplied another negative factor, it would switch back to negative again. Now for those of you who have been watching my videos for more than a year, you remember from sixth grade math, it was lesson 4.1a, we learned about cross-canceling. We can use cross-canceling to multiply faster and avoid the need to simplify. If we have a negative one-fourth times a negative two-fifths times a negative five-sixths, we can look at the one, the two, the four, and the five. We can say this two can cancel out as a one. There's one two here and there's two twos here. We end up with a negative one-half times a negative one-fifth. That's a positive one-tenth. They have the same sign. We get a positive. Now we're going to do a positive one-tenth times the negative five-six. We can say we have one five here and two fives here. Now we have one times one is one and two times six is twelve. We have a positive times a negative. They have unlike signs. They have different signs. We're going to have a negative. It's negative one-twelfth. We went from a positive partial product to a negative product. And there's an odd amount of negative factors here and here. So our product will be negative. Let's try this one. We have a negative four-ninths times a negative three-fourths times a negative three-sevenths. Right away, I can see we have one four here and one four here. They have four as a common factor. Here we have one three and a nine is three threes. That means we have one times one is one and three times one is three. They have the same sign, so it's going to be positive. We have a positive one third. Now we can multiply it to the negative three sevenths. We have one three here and one three here. Now we have 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 7 is 7. This is a positive. This is a negative. They have unlike signs. It's going to be a negative 1 seventh. So cross-canceling is more efficient. We didn't have to do 4 times 3 is 12 and 9 times 4 is 36. So look what happens when we do it without cross-canceling. We'll need to simplify. We do the 4 times 3, which is 12, and the 9 times 4, which is 36. That's a negative, and that's a negative. So we're going to have a positive 12, 36. We can simplify this, so we're not multiplying really huge numbers. We can divide them both by 12 and get a 1 third. It's a positive 1 third. Now we need to multiply it by 3 sevenths. That's a negative 3 sevenths. We're going to have 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 
This is a positive. That's a negative. So it's going to be a negative 3 21st. We need to simplify this. We can divide the numerator and denominator by 3 to get a negative 1 7th. So do you see all the extra steps we had to take to simplify? When up here, we just immediately went to negative 1 7th. Cross-canceling is more efficient. We can also use the commutative and associative properties of multiplication to make cross-canceling easier. This helps us group fraction pairs where the numerator and denominator will cancel. We have a positive one-fifth times a negative three-fourths times a negative five-halves times a negative two-thirds. We can swap the places of these two factors so that the, five ha the negative 5 halves is over here. That way we can say, well, we have 1 5 here and 1 5 here. Then we can do 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 2 is 2. This was a positive. This is a negative. That means we have a negative 1 half. Now, because we moved this one over here, we can say, well, we have 1 3 here and 1 3 here. We have 1, 2 here and 2, 2 is here. Now we have 1 times 1 is 1 over 2 times 1 is 2. Now we just multiply this negative half by a positive half. We get a negative 1 fourth. So by rearranging them with the commutative property, we were able to cancel easier. And we grouped these two together using the associative property. We say, okay, so we're going to multiply these first, then we're going to multiply these, and we were able to cancel very easily. If there's an odd amount of negative factors, the product is negative. If there's an even amount of negative factors, the product is positive. We don't even need to solve this. We don't need to do any multiplication. We can see there are one, two, three negative factors. Three is an odd number. We know the product of this will be a negative product. Here we have one, two, three, four negative factors. Four is an even number. We have an even amount of negative factors, so this will have a positive product. We don't even need to do the math. We already know this is going to be a negative product. This will be a positive product. Now look at all of these rational numbers that need to be multiplied. Do you see how there's parentheses here and here so that these get multiplied together? We have parentheses here and here so these get multiplied together. Then we multiply this partial product to this partial product. We can see there's one, two, three, four negative factors in all. That's an even number. That means this product, whatever all of this is equal to, is going to be positive. We will know whether the product is positive or negative before we even solve the problem. So let's try to solve it. Let's see what happens. We have a negative two-thirds times a negative five-fourths. Well, right away I see we can cross this out as one-two and cross this out as two-twos. Now we have a negative one-third times a negative five-halves. Multiplying straight across, we have a five over a six. They have like signs, so it's a positive five-six. Now we can multiply that to the two-thirds. And right away I can see we have a one two here and three twos there to cross cancel. Now we have five thirds, positive five thirds, times a one third. That's going to be equal to five ninths. And it's a positive five ninths. That is going to be multiplied to what's on this side. Right away, my eyes see that we have one three here. We can cancel this out as three threes. We have a negative and a positive, so we know it's going to be a negative partial product. And we have four times one is four, over three times five is 15. 
we have a negative 4 fifteenths. Now we need to multiply it to this negative half. They have like signs, so whatever the partial product is here is going to be a positive. They have the same sign. So we have a 2 times 1 is 2 over 15 times 1 is 15. That means we need to multiply this 5 ninths times 2 fifteenths. Can you see any cross canceling here? I see we have 1 5 here and 3 5's here. That means we have 1 ninth times 2 thirds. This is positive and this is positive. That's equal to, we can't cancel because 2 doesn't fit evenly into 9. We have 1 times 2 is 2 and 9 times 3 is 27. This equation is equal to 2 27ths. Counting the negative factors, we had a negative factor here, we had a negative factor here, we had another one here, we had another one here. That's four negative factors. Our product is going to be positive. It's a positive 2 27ths. If you're having trouble remembering the cross canceling, I'm going to have a link to the 6th grade math 4.1a video that you can just watch for a few minutes and say, oh, that's right, I remember this. So just look in the description. We're finished with lesson 3.4 and we're gonna move on to 3.5 that is split into five parts. Next, we're gonna talk about placement of negative signs and quotients. We're gonna talk about negative fractions in the numerators and denominators. So remember, the positive to negative is going to flip with each additional negative factor that we have in our equation. And cross-canceling is very quick and it helps us to not need to simplify. We go quicker. And that video is linked in the description if you can't remember how to do it. Have a great day and please join me for Lesson 3.5. Bye.